want to continue by finding what is the length of P now if you take a look at the formula that we have it is a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a with this problem you can notice that we no longer have a b and c but we can rewrite the formula with respect to how this triangle is labeled right so notice that we are going to start off with the side we're solving so if we, in the in this case we were solving for side a that means we started with a right so here we're solving for p so we're going to start our formula with p now after you have the, um, deducted that you're solving for p then you can notice that once we used a we will no longer use a in the following two so we are going to use any of the other two sides in this case since we're going alphabetical order we said it is b squared plus c squared so here we're going to say p equals to q squared plus r squared because we're solving for p and then the other two sides that we have is q and r now moving on we have minus 2 minus 2 will remain for all the formulas it will never change it will always be minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 for all of them then if you notice we have bc for this one here notice that we use bc because we said b squared plus c squared so that's bc so here since we said q squared plus r squared this one is going to be minus 2 q r the same two that you wrote next right and then you have cosine and then cosine will remain always and then notice again if you're solving for side a then you have angle a so that means if we're solve, solving for side p we will have capital P in here and that is what we have so far right so that's going to be the formula now we need to identify things to replace within the formula if this is going to be angle R then we said that opposite to e is, it is going to be side R so 32 is going to be R and then this is angle Q so that means opposite to it is going to be side Q right and then this is angle p right so once we have that then we continue solving and we're going to see all right p squared equals to what is q q is going to be 15 squared then we have r which is going to be 32 squared minus 2 then we multiply Q which is 15 and then multiply R which is 32 then we have cosine of angle P in this case angle P we have it is going to be 61 so that is what we have and then we continue on by saying all right P squared equals to now at this point you can enter everything in your calculator if you have those calculators that display everything here at the top my one does not display everything so if it displays at the top you just start off with 15 squared plus 32 squared minus 2 times 15 times 32 and then times cosine of 61 and then you press equals and then that should be your and then that should give you your answer right but in my case notice that I don't have the one that displays so notice how I will be entering the information in the calculator and then you can follow right first thing I need to check is make sure that my calculator is in degrees notice that it is in degrees 
it is right up here I can see it, it says DEG it means degrees or it have or it has only the letter D then it means degrees or at the back some calculators have a button somewhere around here at the back that you could push in with your pencil or your pen and then it will reset your calculator right all right so hence so let's continue so not notice that with those calculators that you don't you don't see what you're just writing here at the top you will have to start from the back which is going to be 61 8 61 cosine I get that times 32 times 15 then times 2 negative okay? 2 negative this button here at the bottom you could multiply it times 2 and then change it to be negative right so that's going to be equals and then you have for the first section you have minus since it has a little negative sign there it means minus four six five point four one seven two three I'm just going to enter um, five decimals because I don't know what I'm going to get or, or until I reach to the last problem then I can round off right so that is what I have so next thing is take a look at the first piece that's going to be 15 squared right 15 squared that's going to be 225 plus 32 squared that's going to be 1024 p squared p squared equals to and then I enter everything 225 plus 1024 minus 465.41723 723 and then I press enter and then I have 783.58 277 please try this with your calculator whichever calculator that you have in front of you and then see that you get the same answer right so once we get that then the next thing that I have to do is square root because remember we're solving for P not for for P squared so square root on this side that will ensure you get rid of that squared and then you square root on the other side and that will ensure that you get rid of that there so the answer that i have i just need to continue by saying square root the answer and then i get 27.99 right and that is going to be rounded off to 2 dp let's quickly do one more and then we move on to another thing right all right so let's take a look at another triangle let's say this is a more opened up triangle we have it like that let's call this M N O there is this angle O which is going to be 109 degrees right let's call let's have this to be 71 meters and then this is going to be 56 meters and we're solving for this side so this one is telling you solve for side NM. Solve for side NM. Now notice it's side NM and then it's going to be from N going to M. Indicated by the capital letter. This is a different way of writing it. You could write it only side O means the same thing. If I would have said side O, it means the same thing, right? There are various ways of writing it. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. Analyzing first, co cosine rule. We're solving for this side. How do I know if it's cosine rule? We're solving for this side. The other two sides must be given. 
and the angle between them right two sides and the angle between them now notice that this triangle does not look like a right angle triangle so we cannot use pythagoras or trig this has to be cosine rule or sine rule in this case it is cosine rule so let's start off our formula again it's going to start off with the side i am solving right yeah so here the side that i am solving is going to be side o let me label it small o angle n opposite to it side n and then angle m opposite to it small m right always small letter to, for the side and then capital letter for the angle so we're going to start off with o squared equals to then here we have the other two sides o first and then the other two sides that's so going to be m squared plus n squared minus 2 from the formula and then since i used m n then i must use m n here and then cosine of the angle corresponding to the side that i am solving so if i'm solving for o then this here is going to be angle o right so this is what we have let's move on once we have the formula then we start replacing the numbers in there o squared equals to since i'm solving for o m is going to be 56 so let me put 56 squared here then we have plus n which is 71 squared then we have minus 2 times m which is 56 and then times n which is 71 and then that's going to be cosine of angle o which is 1 Nine. Any questions so far? Not just go back, take a look at the first problem, and take a look at this problem. All right. So next thing that we have to do again is use our calculator to solve several parts of it. We have that we're going to say, all right, o squared equals to what is 56 squared? That's going to be 3136 plus what is 71 squared? That's going to be 5041 minus, uh, well, I'm not sure what's going to be, if it's going to be minus or plus, so let's do it. So that's going to be start from the back here. That's going to be 109 cosine times 71 times 56 times negative 2. And then we get, now notice that and with this problem, we get a positive right or you you did not see the little negative sign here so that means it is not minus like how i had indicated but it is going to be plus right so always wait and see what you are going to get here and then if it's a little negative sign then this minus and if it's no negative sign then that means it's plus so that's going to be plus two five eight eight point nine one seven nine six right next step is see what all of that equals to so we have that doesn't need to be three three one three six plus five zero four one plus two five eight eight point nine one seven nine six and we get it is going to be one zero seven six five point nine one seven nine six the next step is we don't want o squared so we need to square root and square root the other side so once i get that then i just need to put press in square root for this calculator and notice that it immediately tells me that o or side o is going to be 103.7 i'll take it to two decimal place that's going to be 
5 but because what follows after the 5 is a 8 I will change this 5 to a 6 and then that's going to be units meters okay so that is what I have now remember that you need to include units sorry about the first one the first one is going to be inches all right if you have any questions any comment please leave it um, on the comments and then I can get back to you all right thank you